Weather Report, and now we're talking with Matthew Nordgren of Arcadian Funds. So Matthew, Arcadian really only invests in ancillary businesses. Why did you guys make that choice to stick with just ancillary? Great question. Um, I come from a background of private equity and family office, and a lot of the things I had been involved with over the years and people that I've been involved with were in highly regulated industries, highly regulated assets, and then ones that weren't highly regulated were big enough they had a lot of exposure. So for me to get into the space, um, I sort of couldn't go about it with businesses that weren't federally uh, outside of uh, potential issues. So uh, that led me to find the ancillary side, which were deals that my relationships and the things we had already been involved with could be a part of if and so if, if, if they wanted to, right? Mm -hmm. So uh, so we knew that was going to be where we needed to start and then ultimately uh, found that the ancillary side had proven companies, companies that had really grown up and you know, started to uh, show themselves as best in breed and we were able to do diligence and comp those companies and what we found was that what we would give them from a multiple or evaluation standpoint outside of the cannabis industry, we could get a 50% or 25% discount for that same company inside of the industry because of the risk factor. So. We decided not to invest in companies too early. Felt like there's still a discount. Going with the growth? In the growth phase. Okay. And you could get companies that were proven. Um, and so we decided to kind of focus there based on restrictions and then ultimately what we are, saw as opportunity. Are you focusing on the tech side or are you more in the growth side? Is there a certain area you like the best? Um, I like them all. Um, <laughs> because of this industry, I think of it in terms of gold, right? Like. There has to be gold for there to be a gold industry. Well, I think that's sort of the phase one of the industry, which is grow it, sell it, manufacture it. Those assets have to kind of be in place. And then you have the picks, the shovels, the boots, the jeans, right? right? Levi jeans is still around. You have that phase two of the industry has to be put in place for the gold to be extracted by the workers, right? Mm -hmm. And then ultimately there has to be a consumer that wants the gold watch or wants to use gold as a currency or whatever. There has to be some use for it on the other end. I think that's phase three, brands, all the outward facing. So I think we're kind of in phase two now. Okay. Um, and because of that, you have all these um, verticals that really have to be filled, which are data, bioscience, software, payment solutions, media. There's such different asset classes that all of them have their own unique opportunity. All of them have a different type of multiple, different type of return. But ultimately, um, we're sort of coming at the industry thinking of it in terms of all verticals have room for growth. Okay. And so we want to be able to look at everything um, that's in growth phase. How much capital have you deployed? Uh, we've put out uh, several million dollars. Okay. Um, we are going to have an announcement pretty soon with a fun close that will uh, showcase some of that. Uh, before we launched the fund, we'd done a variety of deals in the space directly, and so we were able to attribute some of those shares are to you, the fund as well. Are you finding it's easier to get investors as they get more comfortable with the market, with the idea of cannabis? Definitely. This last two weeks has been phenomenal. You have Trump kind of giving his verbal approval for state rights. You have Mitch McConnell pushing him through. John Boehner. Boehner joining acreage. And you have Schumer uh, putting through decriminalization right now. So you're starting to feel like um, everybody is trying to figure out how to gain exposure to the industry. Um, like we were talking about a little bit ago, we're starting to become one of those places where people feel comfortable putting some chips on the table, as they would say, like having yeah. a bet in space, and we can help, you know, sort of have a hedge strategy with a lot of experience, resource, and knowledge. Um, and ultimately, uh, I think in the last month, we've seen the most activity we've ever had. All right, well, we're going to be anxiously awaiting that news out of Arcadian, and we'll have that on the Green Market Report. Thank you, Matthew, for joining us. And I'm Deborah Borchart with the Green Market Report.